Hi, I'm Tom Stevenson and welcome to MS Project Made Easy. I've shot a number of videos on how to use MS Project and it kind of dawned on me I've never really shot a video that sort of showed exactly what it does to people that may be thinking of purchasing MS Project Professional. And I have a lot of clients that are generally large multi-billion dollar companies and so they kind of know what they want and what they need. I also teach to a lot of small businesses and me being in the construction sector, there are a lot of small construction businesses, but I think any business that is looking to do project management, which is practically any business these days, can benefit from the use of a good project management software. Microsoft Project is a pretty encompassing program. It allows you to do a lot of different things. So if you're a professional project manager, it will do what you need to do. If you're a PMP, if you work for large construction businesses, large IT companies, etc., it will do what you need it to do. Uh, if you're a smaller company, you may not need it to do as much as it does, but you'll definitely benefit from the tools that it has. So for example, I have this little file that I pulled up and it's on an office project. I often use this in demonstrating things to my uh, classes as I'm also a professor of construction management. Uh, what it does is it allows you to create your project, name your project of course. It also allows you to create a work breakdown structure. That means that you can create headings for the activities and you know you could call this construction as an example and you could indent everything underneath it which allows you to create what we call a work breakdown structure. I want to keep this very simple this section so I'm not going to try to use too much terminology that might be over your heads uh, and if you're pretty skilled at uh, Microsoft Project maybe this video is a little bit too basic for you so you might want to look at some of my more advanced videos you can uh, go to my channel and look at the various playlists and see what fits you at whatever level you may be at but it does allow you to categorize your project so that you can appreciate that if you're trying to set up a project it allows you to have sort of categories of work and then break that down further into more information it also runs on the critical path calculations. And again, if you're not familiar with how that works, the critical path is essentially the longest path through the project. So what you're essentially doing is you're creating a series of activities and you're really connecting them in a network. What must happen before something else happens? There's a lot of different kinds of ways that you can connect the activities in MS Project and it allows you to pretty much schedule your project any way you want. That way you can uh, perform your project any way you want. You don't want a scheduling software that kind of tells you how to run your project. You want to be able to work the software so that it schedules what you have in your mind, what your team has put together and collaborated on so that you can have a plan. And that's what most scheduling software, good scheduling software does. A spreadsheet doesn't do that. So if you've been using a spreadsheet, once you start to use a, a scheduling software like Microsoft Project Professional, it'll do pretty much whatever you want to do and you won't want to go back to it because it's very cumbersome to try to use a spreadsheet to update projects. It might be okay to come up with an original kind of rough plan, but then when you start updating and recovering time, it's really not easy to use. So Microsoft Project excels at that. You can put in your start date, you can put in uh, the durations for the activities, you make your connections, and you know what? It'll calculate when your project should finish based on all the connections and durations. So you don't have to do any of that. It's all done for you. And that would be a plan. It also will save the plan. So for example, uh, you can go into what they call uh, the project tab and set baseline. Baseline means it takes a picture of what was your plan. One of the things with scheduling software that you'll get used to is that there are a lot of different tables of information. It's not like a spreadsheet, it's like a database and the different tables communicate to each other. So that's, that's a definite advantage too, that you can have a lot of data. That means it can give you a lot of information. 
even for smaller businesses today, uh, we're becoming very data driven. And if you're not on that bus or on that train, you're getting left behind. So a good scheduling software will do that for you. And some of you may have questions, well, why should I buy Microsoft Project Professional instead of Microsoft Project Standard? I would suggest that you should buy Project Professional because it also will integrate much, much better with some of the online uh, project, profession, uh, project offerings that Microsoft has. There's subscription services that you can also purchase, but I do feel that as a starting point for a small business to get used to uh, a scheduling program, I think Microsoft Project Professional is the best place for you to go. And then at some point, if uh, your company is expanding and you want to have teams more integrated into the use of the projects, then I would look at the subscription service. And the nice thing is then MS Project Professional integrates well with that, whereas MS Project Standard does not integrate as well with that. So we have our schedule, we have our links, our predecessors, everything done. As I said, we have different screens. This variant screen, if you save a baseline, what it does for you is it actually copies and pastes those particular dates that you had put into uh, the schedule. So baseline, that would have been the plan. Uh, and then it copies it over here. Baseline finish, that would have been the plan. It copies it over there. And you know what? As you update the schedule, and so a scheduling software does this. So you Excel users, you would appreciate this aspect that when you put in actual dates later on, it'll show you what the variances are, how much your project schedule change. That is really useful information. If we go to our tracking Gantt, and again, you know, you'd have to, once you purchase a Microsoft project, you do have to do some training uh, on it and you can do it on YouTube. Like I said, I've got a lot of videos on, on YouTube and you can um, sink yourself into those uh, training aspects. There is what we call the tracking Gantt. The bottom bar is the plan. The top bar is either the actuals or the change to the plan. Where you see it over here, this is a status date where you're updating it to and this is after. So this is happened, it's history, this is future. And as we move through the project, we can see how we're doing. We can compare how we're doing to the original project plan. So I can see that we're six days behind. If we have changes to the project, again, you know, in Excel, this becomes like a nightmare, these kind of things. I can insert changes and then I can see the impact that the change has on the project. I can also go to my cost screen. I can see what my variance is in cost up to this point. How much extra costs am I incurring? I can go to any level of detail that I want. You might be a small business and you might be saying, well, I don't want to monitor the costs. You don't have to monitor the costs, but you can monitor the costs if you want. If you just want to monitor the time, you can just have base, a basic schedule where you're monitoring the time. But if you want to do resource and cost loading on the schedule, that's the terminology that's used, you can easily do that as well. Uh, to do resource and cost loading, you create a resource sheet and you have a bunch of resources that you apply. There's a whole bunch of things you can look at. You can set parameters around how much of a particular resource you have. Are they like a subcontractor? Are they something you want to measure like linear feet, square feet, cubic meters? Uh, you can dive deep into see how, how is the cost performing? and which resources over budget, right? So there's all this kind of data that you can collect on your project. And if you've assigned resources to a project, you can actually filter information on your project. You can go to the view tab and you can go to filter and look at this stuff. You can filter by resource. So you pick your resource that you want to uh, filter by, you click OK. And then it just shows you the information of that particular resource. Very, very handy uh, on projects that you want to just deal with a particular topic. Maybe you've got that subcontractor or trade partner coming over and you want to just look at their dates and discuss it with them. You can do that. So scheduling software is a very powerful tool uh, to think about if you're still sort of using spreadsheets and you haven't graduated up to that particular 
uh, level yet, it can accomplish a lot of things for you. Not only that, when you look at the tracking Gantt and you want to see how are we doing? Uh, oh, we're behind schedule. How much are we behind schedule? As I mentioned, we're six days behind schedule. Then you can start saying, well, how do we recover that time? How do we get that time back? And it gives you some good ideas to look at. First off, you're just going to look at critical items because shortening blue items is not going to get you any time back. Critical items will get you time back. So it gives you what you need to focus on and it gives you a good sort of process to follow. It's a really excellent tool um, in that respect. So I would strongly suggest you think about using MS Project in that way and for that purpose. There are many other tools available in this program for you to use. I've been using this program for years and years and years and there's things I don't know myself. There's new things that come up that I learn about all the time. But it's like most software programs, you don't need to do everything that it can do. But you got to ask yourself the question, does it do what I need? And if it does and it makes your life easier, it makes you more organized. It gives you more current data so that you can make better decisions and be more profitable in your actions. Then I would strongly suggest you consider a scheduling software like Microsoft Project Professional. And I would say it is the dominant scheduling software in small to medium enterprises today. So with that said, I'm Tom Stevenson, hoping this gives you a little bit of an idea of what Microsoft Project can do for you in a very short period of time. If you want more details, click on my channel, subscribe, look under the playlist Microsoft Project and you'll get a lot of information on this topic. Bye for now. Have a wonderful day.